This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. Over one third of the new COVID-19 cases announced at the beginning of this week in the province were in New Brunswickers under the age of 19, forcing many schools in the province to temporarily close despite only opening their doors less than a week earlier. With vaccination numbers lagging in younger age groups and COVID-19 cases surging in what is now New Brunswick's fourth wave of the pandemic, Premier Blaine Higgs is considering imposing new restrictions later this week. While I do not yet know what specific measures may be introduced, I can tell you that everything is on the table. This includes a possibility of requiring proof of vaccination when accessing non-essential services, businesses and activities. We may also include a requirement for anyone entering the province to register their travel. Chief Medical Officer of New Brunswick, Dr. Jennifer Russell, says the rise in cases is tied to the number of people still not getting vaccinated. We are experiencing an epidemic among the unvaccinated, those who have chosen to remain unvaccinated, as well as those not eligible for vaccine. The vast majority of new infections are happening among, among those who are not yet fully protected against the COVID-19 virus. Adults who are not fully vaccinated are catching the virus and passing it on to others. Although 77% of eligible New Brunswickers are now fully vaccinated, that number doesn't include kids under 12 who still aren't eligible, meaning that of the total population of the province, only about two-thirds are fully vaccinated. And the percentage of New Brunswickers who are fully vaccinated dropped significantly in the younger generations, even though they've been eligible to receive the vaccine for multiple months. Just over 60% of New Brunswickers between the ages of 12 and 40 have been fully vaccinated, a number that becomes more problematic when you consider that most parents of young children fall in this age group. At some point, we have to say that there's going to be a response by the vaccinated, by the enormous majority who've done the right thing, and that there's going to be a decline in tolerance for those who, for whatever reasons, endanger the lives of the people around them. And that's about where I am right now. Rural New Brunswick ridings are used to not having much of a major spotlight put on them during federal elections, but this past week, a Facebook Live video made by New Brunswick Southwest Liberal candidate Jason Hickey received national attention. Um, but of course, anyone selling their primary residence, uh, it, you, you do make money on that, so unfortunately you, do, you will have to pay tax on that. Um, the Conservatives say this is evidence the Liberals will impose a capital gains tax on home sales, while the Liberals maintain they will not tax the sale of primary residences, and countered that Hickey corrected himself moments later in a conversation with a voter. I don't believe we plan on bringing that forth, um, Gord. I don't think we, we do that. In an email to CHCO, Hickey said, the Liberal Party position is clear and unequivocal. We will not introduce a home equity tax on primary residences. You know, this is a candidate who wants us to think that he understands New Brunswick Southwest in all its, 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 uh, its communities, who lives in Rosse, but doesn't even understand his own platform at the end of the day. And I think when you're running for office, you have to understand your communities and you have to understand the ideas that you're running on as well. Finally, Smile Cookies are back at Tim Hortons this week. This year, 100% of sales of Smile Cookies at the St. Stephen, St. Andrews, and St. George locations will benefit Santa's Helpers. Every December, Santa's Helpers helps over 350 families in need in Charlotte County have a wonderful holiday, providing gifts for kids and food for the whole family. The community can give to us to give back to the community, and Santa's Helpers does a great job um, giving within the community as well. Members of the Santa's Helpers team will also be helping decorate the Smile Cookies this week as they are a way of pitching in towards this generous donation from the local Tim Hortons. A goal of 10,000 cookies, that's a significant goal and a significant uh, ability for Tim Hortons locally to make a difference in our communities. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and live streamed COVID-19 updates for the province, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. This has been a news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.